sunny, 10 degrees. Feels like spring already, March. March, winter, I'm walking out in a t-shirt. Crazy winter we're having in Toronto. It's been so mild, but good for me, trying to get outside as much as I can. It's been working well. Just finished up the swim, 3,400 meters. Pretty decent one, not bad. First workout of the week, getting it started right. Decided to bike outside today. It was too nice, I couldn't pass it up. Inside the apartment, it was so hot as well. So, kind of forced to come outside. But, first bike outside in this year. So, loving it. Roads are smooth, a lot of cyclists out. Nice some guys kite surfing over there. Bike definitely needs some work. It's been sitting since I put it away for the winter, but It'll get the job done today. So second workout of the day. Yeah. Why? Thanks to you for this chat. Right. We got an FTP test today. Just fueled up, had some breakfast, a banana, some blueberries, cereal. Um, probably have another banana quick before I get on the bike. Uh, I'm just prepping some 
nutrition for it. We got one bottle with beta fuel. Uh, so 80 grams of carbs in that bottle. I'm going to try and have this mostly before the 20 minute test and then element as well. So uh, 1.1 grams of sodium is going to be in this and then another one of just water and I'm having my coffee, my caffeine. Got the bike set up on the trainer here. Facing it to the desk. I'm going to lower that down in a second. But pretty good setup. I got a view outside. I'm right by the bunnies. There, there's both of them. Hi, Pepe. Hello. And Ruby. <laughs> this is the setup. We're ready to go. Tight for space, but you don't need that much space when you're not moving on a bike, right? I'm all set up. I'm starting my warm up. The coach has set me an FTP workout. It includes a 20 minute test. He set some guidelines uh, for the each five minute segment. So we got based on my current FTP, um, which is listed as 276. So we're going for higher than 276. The guidelines first five minutes, 260. And the next three after that, 275, 275, 290. But I'm going to try and push higher than that. I think I've been feeling really good on the bike lately, really strong. Uh, and I'm ready to have some harder workouts. I think my workouts have been a little more relaxed, maybe, than I'd like them to be. I think they can be, um, they could be a little bit harder. So I'm looking to hopefully uh, get a good FTP number because my fitness has improved, but also because I'd like for these workouts to be a tad harder. So let's get it. We're just warming up now. 110, just chilling. And then we'll get started. That was hard. Probably the hardest thing I've ever done on the bike. Which I guess is a good sign. I haven't been able to push that hard on the bike before, so it felt pretty good. Most times when I looked up, I was up around or over 300. So I'm happy with that. Feeling pretty good about it. Uh, I'm drenched, completely exhausted. Uh, but let's get into this calculation. Let's take a look at this data. Just finishing the ride now, five seconds. And we're done. Whew. All right, I've had a chance to cool down a little bit. I've got some more coffee. So a pretty successful test. Uh, the hardest I've been able to push on the bike. So happy with that. Set a new 20 minute power uh, of uh, 297. So that uh, roughly taken 95% of that to estimate FTP. And we're estimating uh, around 282, 283, I think closer to 282. Uh, so I'm pretty happy with that. An increase from my estimated 276 before. Biking has been going pretty well right now. This test has been pretty encouraging. Um, and I'm excited to, to bump up the training a little bit uh, in intensity. Um, to push even harder on the bike for next time. That's the test done. We've got a strength workout to get through. Uh, and that's it for the day.
Workout's done for the day. That's Wednesday. See you tomorrow. Classic. It's Thursday. Woke up this morning and, well, was supposed to have a swim today, but my shoulder has been killing me. I think I did something to it when I did a, a workout class a couple weeks ago. So, gonna go to the chiropractor, see if we can get a little bit of uh, treatment done on it, a little bit of manual therapy, uh, some cold laser treatment, which has worked well for me in the past on my shoulders. Uh, I think it's just a muscle strain. I think it was from maybe overhead presses or something. Seems like it's anterior delt. So, bailed on my swimming this morning. Swimming has been like one of my my favorite activities to do. It feels just so good to start your day with a swim. So unfortunate that I'm not able to swim, um, but it's more important to to kind of get this solved rather than push through and 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 possibly hurt it even more. So um, no swim today, but we'll do a run. Uh, maybe fill in an extra workout with a bike because we got a day off tomorrow. We'll see. Okay, heading up for the run. Just having a banana before I leave. It is beautiful outside, so we'll get a little bit of footage, but feeling pretty good. Shoulder sore. Um, just the run for the day. Just gonna take my time with it. It's an hour run, uh, six by one minute strides in there. So, pretty chill run. Uh, gonna go down to the water. Try and hit a couple of the parks in Toronto. Take you with me. That's 16.5k done, 1 hour 12 minutes. My battery died on my camera while I was out there, so not so much run footage on this one. Uh, feeling pretty good, feeling strong on the run, tired, definitely ready for a rest day tomorrow. I'm doing six days on, one day off, so I've just had six days straight of activity. Um, Although, didn't have the swim this morning, so not feeling as, as tired as I normally would on a Thursday. So, hoping for some good recovery tomorrow, and we've got a, a, a good weekend ahead of us of, of training. That's it for Thursday. It's Saturday, a little later in the day. I think it's around, yeah, it's around 3 p.m. Uh, we've got PTO. T100 Miami on. Got the bike set up in the living room to watch. Uh, it's just a long endurance ride today. Hour 50 minutes. Biking. Just finished my one hour 50 minute easy ride. I'm, I'm eating a, a not burger. <laughs> um, and the T100 Miami was a great race. Uh, Magnus Ditlov is just an absolute engine throughout all disciplines. Sam Long's got a crazy run there for, for that comeback. That was great for him. And Alistair Brownlee, oh my god, if he could have held on for that. Crazy. Just a little thoughts. And we'll see you tomorrow for the long run. End of the week off. Peace. sitting here on the couch it's just procrastinating I don't really feel like going out for this long run we got 20k um, 
an hour and a half run. So sometimes it's hard just to get up and go outside, especially when you know you have an hour and a half of running ahead of you. But we'll do it. We'll try and film it. And then that's a cap to the week. It's been a chill Sunday. So let's go out there and get it. Okay, we finally got outside. We're 5.5K in and I'm warm now. I got to sit by the river for a little bit. So feeling a little better. Just kind of shows that your mindset can overcome your mood in the moment. I really wasn't feeling this one. This is the third week in a row where I'll be running close to a half marathon on the weekend. And maybe that doesn't seem like a lot to a lot of people, but this is the most I've definitely ever done in the last five weeks, four half marathons. My body's responding well, which is great, but it is a lot. And sometimes it's mentally tough to get outside for a half marathon when it's below freezing, snowing, and just coming off of three weeks of building. I'm pretty happy I'm going into a recovery week next week. Take the workouts easy and just kind of enjoy it. Let the muscles recover. Okay, it's many days after that run, but I just wanted to do a quick recap of the week. Nine hours and 30 minutes. Monday we had 3.4K swim and a 30 kilometer bike. Easy run on Tuesday, just under 10 kilometers. FTP test and strength on Wednesday. An easy run with some strides on Thursday, 16.6 .6 kilometers. Friday was an off day, just did some mobility, some stretching. Uh, Saturday, 54 kilometer bike, endurance ride, and Sunday, long run, 22.1 kilometers. Overall, a really good week. I feel really good. My shoulder's still pretty bad. Uh, done, done a couple of Cairo sessions, and um, I think it's uh, subacromian bursitis and maybe a torn rotator cuff muscle um, but it's getting better so I guess there's, there's some positives but a little bit off swimming for the next little bit still good to run and bike so this week has been going well if you made it this far I appreciate you watching I, I'm just putting these videos together because it's fun it's just been fun filming and using using my cameras and and showing some people uh, what I do on a daily basis this is just um, what I enjoy doing I I like getting outside and or I like moving my body so um, just thought I'd share it with everyone that's the week peace